In photography, we have this great photography collection here. We have more than 1,300 photographs. I think we have, I think we have exactly 1,331 photographs. <laughs> but it, you know, it's it's really am amazing um, for a museum of this size to have such a great collection, and it's one of the reasons that I came here. We have a show now that has some of the major photographers um, of the 20th and, and 21st century. When I was looking at how to represent the photography collection, um, it was looking at a lot of pictures. And I think that there might have been some idea of making this kind of our greatest hits, like our most famous photographs. But I thought it would be more meaningful to look at, at the photography thematically of how photographs kind of tell the history of photography in the 20th century. And what some of the major themes like documentary photography and how that evolved into street photography. And so in some cases, I chose images that weren't necessarily the most um, famous images, but to show certain points, to show that there was a visual language that evolved, and you see it kind of over and over and over again over time. So in this case, a lot of the work was chosen to support you know, major themes of traditional landscape as opposed to constructed landscape, you know, of portraiture and the portrayal of gender um, in photography, that type of thing. There's still that division between photography and art. You know, people think, well, it's not art because it's made with this mechanical device, you know, but they don't think anything of contemporary artists who might have something um, manufactured, um, you know, to their specifications, or to, you know, their artists that, you know, in the Renaissance or um, Baroque artists who had used studios and, and they had um, assistants who were painting you know, painting large portions of their painting, you know, but there's, there's still, there's resistance somewhat. Um, um, and I just think that photography is so fascinating. I hope that people can come in with an open mind and really appreciate that. I hope that they love the photographs as much as I do.